Chicago Bears, they are expected to have a pretty good season this season, right? I mean, most people in Chicago are pretty excited about it. I mean, you got the good receiving core, the running backs, the quarterback, Caleb Williams, all of that stuff. But what's actually pretty interesting here is the organization is still waiting on Caleb Williams and the other rookie, Roma Dunze, to sign their rookie deals. Now, this is scaring some people. And people are kind of spiraling out of control because it's like, oh, what, what's going to happen if they don't sign the rookie deal? Typically, the contracts and all of that stuff is already done going into training camp. But it's right around the corner. And, you know, one can only suspect that this is happening because of the details in the contract. Now, we've seen this happen to last year. Bryce Young um, of the Carolina Panthers he did the same thing. He waited until like a couple days before training camp and eventually he did sign it. But the thing that it seems to be where guys are trying to avoid is the possibility of losing contract guarantees. Now, this this isn't touched on a lot in, in the sports world, or whatever, but it's pretty interesting to me because depending on the contract, your on field penalties and suspensions can like wipe away some of the guarantees you have in incentives and cash guarantees as well. So it seems to be the issue that Caleb Williams and Rome Odunze are trying to figure out before they actually sign these deals. And it seems like they're getting a lot smarter, like rookies in general, of trying to make sure things are intact for them. Because obviously things happen on the field things happen off the field and the most important thing for anyone who's just going into the nfl you want to make sure you secure your back and i'm not mad at it so anybody out there watching or anybody listening and reading all these crazy headlines about oh caleb williams still hasn't signed his deal bro it's okay this has happened before the Bears are going to be just fine. Don't worry about it. I promise you they'll be good. As long as they keep building around Caleb Williams, they're going to be fine, man, because we know they got the pieces. They got the hell of a receiving core and hell of an offensive weapon uh, right now. DeAndre Swift, Keenan Allen, Romo Dunze, once he signs the contract, <laughs> DJ Moore, Cole Komet. They got so many pieces on there, and even now they're still trying to add pieces with the Bears. Latest other rumor was, the possibility of landing the left tackle David uh, Bakati, or uh, let me—I got to figure his name out. Uh, but the left tackle—he's a former All-Pro, played for Green Bay Packers. I mean, he was a solid pickup. Like it, I, I think he is going to be a solid pickup because they haven't signed him yet. But however, if the Bears can get this guy for the right price, this will be beautiful. Because I mean, we know what he's done. He's been solid every time he's played with the Packers coming into each season. The only thing that does concern me is you don't want to overpay a guy who's had big time injuries like this. The man has went through several knee surgeries throughout his career. And if you overpay him, it could come back to haunt you. He's 32 years old. You know, the NFL lifespan is not that much longer. It's not it's not that long, especially when you're in any other position outside of quarterback. But you, you got to be careful here. And for the Bears, you don't want to pay this man a, a crazy amount for him to be injured all year. So the deal that I would go with or the route I would try to sway him in is let's put some good contract incentives in there. Put some good guarantees together as long as he can hold up his side of the deal. If he can say, give us 14 games then cool, that's another another incentive of giving him this much money in addition to what his contract said. That unlocks a new tier of, of money in his contract. If he takes the Bears to the playoffs, give him another incentive. Like, you, you got to really stack them up. And I think it's different ways to get him outside of, you know, uh, you know, just trying to pay him outright of guaranteed money but that's also the tough part is a lot of guys want that guaranteed money that's why we see the thing with justin fields or, or not justin fields that's why we see the thing with caleb williams that's why we see the thing uh with romo dunze right now and trying to secure the money because at the end of the day that's what it comes down to so i think the bears could get it done if they can get that done bring in another left tackle it would be huge for the Bears, especially adding some extra protection there for Caleb Williams. But above all, man, the Bears, they got a shot to make some noise, bro. They really got, some, they got a good shot. I think it's going to be tough because NFC North is obviously becoming one of the best conferences in the NFL or the best divisions in the NFL with the Lions there, the Packers there. 
not much about the Vikings, but those two teams of Lions and Packers were playoff teams last year, and they did pretty good in the playoffs. So can't count them out, but Bears, they got a lot of work to do. Got a lot of work to do, and I personally won't be swayed until I see what goes on in a training camp. Once I see the hard knocks and see what goes on in training camp, then I'll be like, all right, is this team really locked in or are they just here for the entertainment? That's that's my concern right now. Anyway, look, man, that's all I got for y'all today. Um, I'm going to leave y'all with this positive note here. I'm going to just say this, bro. Go at your own pace. Run your own race. Don't even worry about what anybody else is doing, bro. Go at your own pace. Run your own race. There's always going to be people ahead of you, always going to be people behind you, but you got to just look yourself in the mirror. Go at your own pace. Run your own race. You take that however you want to receive it. 